fully extend the landing gear. Ready to fly. Three, two, one. Compass error. Karma cannot hold its position. Use the joysticks to land now. Compass interference. Move to a new location or recalibrate the compass. So, not long ago, I crashed my drone, and um, it's actually one of the uh, few GoPro cameras left that's actually pairing to the controller. So I was kind of upset after I crashed my drone. I dismantled it, looking at all the things that are broken on it, and uh, it was quite a bit. So I picked up this, this drone here that uh, has a pairing problem. Picked up the drone and the propellers, and uh, the gimbal batteries and all that for <clears throat> 200 bucks and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take and replace the parts that are broken on mine to see if we can't uh, make this thing fly again so there's a few things um, I, I learned while I was taking this apart and I think I'm gonna take and gut this one and put the parts in this one. I know it sounds like it'd be easier to go the other way, but this <clears throat> this part that the gimbal mounts in got quite broken up. So I'm gonna try to undo that. Um, but these connectors here, if you look, there's a little there's a little latch. You flip the latch up and you unplug these. Um, they have a little spot of glue on them to keep that latch from coming undone. So hopefully I'll be able to switch this part out. Um, <clears throat> Keep, it, keep the rest of everything intact. I really don't want to take the motherboard completely out and all this other stuff completely out. Um, stay tuned. We'll figure out if we can do it. Okay, so I realize that this piece here is all part of this entire piece there. So I ended up taking the, the motherboard off here. And then when you get over here, you see these little tiny, tiny forks right here I have nothing for that but I did see that there were some pins sticking out of the back of here I push them back and then once you push them back you can actually lift this whole assembly out so I'm gonna move that over here aside somewhere <clears throat> there and this is the this is the parts of my working pairing drone here and this was in there too so but this is what we got to replace because this is all busted it's got busted in the accident i've had this thing for years and have been fortunate enough to get to fly it for quite a while and yeah then all of a sudden you know you know what happens with these things lost pairing for a second smacked a tree smacked every branch down on the way on the way down so much fun much fun you know gopro sucks so anyhow i'm gonna go ahead and uh get this moved over and get this guy coming apart well take a little there's lots of videos on how to take these things apart not down to that part though so stay tuned so the first part of this assembly you have four screws like here there there and there to take the landing gear off the landing gear off and if you flip it over you can see there's a plug right there push the tab and simply unplug it no big deal there move that aside the next thing we're going to take off are these screws here this screw this screw this screw and that screw and then we're going to 
taken. We get these screws off. We're going to push those buttons on those connectors and then use another screwdriver to use these tabs and pull it at the same time and we'll unplug them. Now, once you uh, reach down in there, push the tab and pull this up, you can uh, take these off and just push back through. Just push back through the, the holes there and come off. I kind of need two hands to do this, so. Oh, sh it's pretty self explanatory, though. And once you get those off, you'll see that there's torque screws right under there. You're going to take those off, the arms. And then you're just going to pick the arms up off the body. That's where they go. The arms just, just bolt up like that. Okay. Once you get the arms off, you'll see there's six screws. There's one there, one there, there, there. And then there's two inside of this lip here where the battery goes. I'm going to take those off. Once you take those screws out, you're going to lift the back of the case and off the, the nose there and expose the motherboard and the body inside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take the pins out of this, unbolt that, unbolt this. Because we want, we want uh, this piece out of here. I don't really want the motherboard and stuff because I, I'm gathering that's where the pairing comes in, and uh, this one doesn't pair. So we're gonna take out these screws here, and take the latches off here here and I'll unplug this board and um, swap it out when I go to take these these ribbons off you can see that if you look real close there's a little glue right here see that's a that's glue right there and what it is, it keeps these little these little black latches from flipping up. So once you kind of pry the glue out of the way, you should be able to just take and flip the latch up. And then that'll allow you to unplug the strip. Once we transfer it over, we're going to have to hot glue them back down though. So... Alright, once you get down to this layer, there's eight screws. <clears throat> you got one here, one here, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there, and one there. So I've taken those out and I'm going to remove this unit, which I need because this is all busted on mine for a repair. I'm gonna take this and set the rest of this aside because I don't think I need anything off of it, but I'll keep I'll keep those parts. I'm gonna use my motherboard, my chassis here, and this part here back in the chassis. And because all three of my arms got broken, the four all four of my arms got broken in the accident. Uh, I got four good arms here. This case has one little minor crack on it, so I'm going to use that. I think I'm going to use my landing gear and, of course, you know, that gimbal. And we'll get it back together and see what, see what happens. All right, when I put, I bolted this back down. I took eight bolts, put that back in, and putting the motherboard back on. You want to make sure there's some feet that it sits on in there, some little rubber Got a little rubber that pokes up through them and that's got a rubber that goes over the top just making sure that that's all the way through and around like it should be they look like this it's the feet on the bottom where it sits and comes through the board and then you have um 
Then you have a, a top. Let's see. I think they're still stuck on my board over here. But for the most part. But some of them. These are stuck on the other board. So just use these. You see that. You know. There, there's a washer. And a rubber. That goes on. I've got one there already. One there. Don't have one on that. So we're going to put a little rubber on there. We need one for there. I'm just going to go ahead and pull it off of here for now. And that one's going to go around that. And then we're going to take, put our screws back in. We're going to do that for all of these screws and I had to put the phone down to do that so you don't want to see my big fat hand for the next five minutes so get right back to you all right so I inserted my screws I cleaned the glue off the end of the ribbons and from around the locks you have to kind of pick them up put them in push them forward and then lock your lock down I will be putting some glue over the top of these so, but for right now, I just want to make sure everything jives, so. All right, I've disassembled the donor and dropped my motherboard and, uh, the part that the gimbal slides into um, replace the part that the gimbal slides into and all the arms from the crash mine did pair I bought one that didn't pair so hopefully we'll acquire some GPS here in a second and get to flying Ready to fly. Three, two, one. Successful test flight. Ready to fly. 